The Center for Fathers and Families was started by the Sisters of Charity Foundation of South Carolina, and it has been the most incredible journey. When we started this movement, uh, late 90s, we realized there were services for women everywhere, there were services for children everywhere, and somehow nobody was really thinking about, you know, the man, you know, father, dad. A lot of times we say, tell the men, pull yourself up by your own bootstraps, you know, you can do it, you're a man, go and get it done. A lot of our men don't even have boots. I came in jobless um, with only a GED, um, ended up gaining a, a pretty good job with a software company, going through college, graduating, getting my degree, and now I'm a productive member of society. A lot of them really don't have a lot of job retention, and so we have um, job recruiters in place to give those job retention skills. We bring people in to, to help them see that, hey, we are not close to you, but we're willing to open the doors to you so we can better serve. The program was a savior. You know, of course, we had meetings every Tuesday, so every week I got to get everything off my chest, and then I got to hear other men who were going through the same thing, so I knew I wasn't out here by myself. Most men think if I pay child support, and that's enough. But becoming a father is much more than that. It's being there emotional, it's being there physically for your child. It's how to converse with the mother. It's how you're gonna to react to the child. It's helping the child grow. It's not just the materialistic side. When they walk in, first we try to provide a warm, open, friendly environment to let them know that you're safe here. Um, we're not here to judge you. Uh, we're here to assist you uh, in becoming a better man and achieving your personal goals all at the same time. It's a unfortunate trend, not only in our state but nationwide, that fathers are kind of out of the picture now. Um, there's a lot more children that are being raised without their fathers and as, a, as an end result of that we've, we're seeing higher crime, higher drug use. The higher rates of teen pregnancy, higher rates of high school dropouts, those all have a price tag to society. Um, and an investment in a father providing for his child in the long run is going to cost us far less than having to pay for consequences for children much, much further down the road. When children have a, a dad involved in a positive manner, the outcomes are better. They fare better in life and so we're about building strong men, strong dads so that they are actively involved in the lives of their children. They, they, they not only care about me and they're not helping me just for me, they're wanting to help me for my daughter and my children as well. So if, if complete strangers can care about my child, then why can't I take that much investment in it? You cannot go back and make a brand new start, but you can start now and make a brand new end. And so that being said, from people from the community, you can come and start now and help these men get further down the road. They can't go back to the beginning, but we can start now. And from here on, the next 10, 20 years with fatherhood is gonna be great because we have the participation from the community. The community needs to see fatherhood as important, that fathers matter to the lives of children. Life can't be for the moment, and, and we're not working in the moment, we're working for the future, and we're trying to invest in the men now so we won't lose the future. For me, I think back from where I'm at right now, and without them, I really don't know where I would be at right now. These programs operate on the compassion of folks in the community and although they may not be able to show up and work with a father every day, they know that by making a contribution that they are going to make a difference, that this dad is going to get the support he needs and get, more importantly, get back into that child's life. We have to provide guidance to men and that's where our programs come in, is providing guidance to men so that they can be the men, the fathers that they were called to be. That's what we do. And the community has to support that work of men being engaged, men being important in the lives of the children that truly, again, fathers matter.